Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create realistic t-shirt mockup uh, in Adobe Photoshop. So what I have done, I have selected an image of a model. As you can see, it has many wrinkles on it on his t-shirt. So normally when we place the design over it, it will not give the realistic effect. So I am going to teach you few techniques that will help you in creating the design realistic so let's start uh, simply go to quick selection tool and make selection on the t-shirt of this model and press ctrl j so now you have just created a duplicate of the particular portion of the t-shirt okay now what we are going to do we are going to create we have control and click on this layer so it will create selection of this portion and here is the option of mask layer mask add layer mask so when we click on it so it has created a layer mask on that particular portion of the t-shirt okay now in order to give it more realistic feel uh, including shadows and highlights we have to make adjustment to the levels of this particular portion of the t-shirt so what we do we again click on the this portion and go to adjustment layer and select levels and from here you can see that you can simply main make adjustment to your model so let's keep it here so that the wrinkles are more prominent in this design okay and let's click on it create clipping mask so it is clipped on this particular portion of the t-shirt okay now what we have to do just go to file save as and give it a name displacement or something else that you want to give and just save that file this file will help in creating a realistic mockup by using your own design or some other design that you want to place on the t-shirt okay now, now what I am I going to do I will simply delete these two layers these two layers and I have deleted okay now import your design go to file open and wherever you have put the design just import it import and convert it into smart object so basically I want to tell you that this is not my design I have just grabbed it from the internet for teaching purpose and simply place on the particular portion that you have earlier duplicated like this as you see now that if you zoom it it is just a flat layer and it does not seem to be blended in the t-shirt okay now what we are going to do we will go to filter distort and displace okay keep the setting as it is and simply click ok now select this displacement file this displacement file was the actually wrinkled portion of the t-shirt that is being popped up in this mockup as you can see that this is the initial and this is the final as you can see the wrinkles are being nicely blended in the t-shirt and we have to make some more adjustment it is giving a good effect okay now keep on selecting this layer and go to blending option okay and here you can see underlying layer option so basically this is an option that enables you to adjust the opacity of the underlying layer which means that beneath this layer so what I am going to do click alt and drag this as you can see the difference what that what is the actual purpose of this option so in order to make the 
lower layers more visible we have to make adjustment using this option okay now you can see that the design is being curved and the highlights are being popped up in the design and actually in short it is giving you a very realistic feel and i believe we have not consumed much time and this is the final product thanks for watching